What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Breaking Edge Outdoors. We're going to do a quick rundown of what all I carry in my solo hunting bag. Uh, if you guys had seen the video of uh, my crossbow bag dump, this is going to be like that. But this is where, what, what all I take out just just with me when I don't when I don't have my daughter with me and don't have all the extra stuff to carry. We're going to do this quick and kind of raw, unedited, so that way we can get it uploaded so you guys can check it out i know we've been a little bit slow on uploads here lately so just trying to get this pushed out and i needed to go through my bag so i can get out in the woods today anyway so that's why we're going to do this quickly and that way we can get it uploaded i can get back in the stand all righty here we go okay this is going to be the contents of my bag this is everything that i carry when I'm out by myself. Uh, first of all, the bag. Oh, I'm not on the right side of this. Bear with me, folks. Okay. I just got a, a Field Line Pro Series. It's, it's just a Walmart bag. It's just a Walmart pack. A uh, handful of pockets. This one with these buckles here, there's actually a little pouch that drops out the bottom here. You can throw a gun stock or a crossbow stock or I guess if you got the right right kind of bow, you can drop your bow in there and buckle everything up to your bag. Make it a little easier to transport. Actually, I'm going to work from this side of the table so I can actually kind of see what I'm doing. A little bit better. There we go. Okay, uh, start with, I got a Bushnell headlamp. This, it's just a headlamp. Got a high-low setting. Uh, red light for night vision and the quote-unquote blood tracking light. Always carry that with me. Always carry extra batteries. My release, I'm shooting a Scott Pursuit. Uh, I went with this release primarily because it's got the option to go with a three finger or four finger. I'm new to shooting a thumb release and I wasn't entirely sure which I wanted to go with so I got that and opted for the four finger. Uh, just a little piece of paracord on there. Uh, I've actually got that set up so I can put it on a wrist sling that I made and just Simply slides in and together. Like that. Then I can hang it off of my release. That way I'm not stuck with it in my pocket or having it dangle off my bow, which I'm not a big fan of, especially on windy days. I don't want it, you know, smacking off my, my cables or my string or anything else. And, that way I can't accidentally bump the trigger and my release fall off. But if that were to ever happen, I carry a spare release. Guys, I cannot stress that enough. Always carry a spare release. It, it's, it's happened so many times. There's so many stories of, oh, I dropped my release out of the stand or I forgot it in my case or I left it in the truck or I thought it was in this pocket or I thought it was in that pocket. You don't have to worry about it. I carry a spare release. Uh, this one just happens to be a spot hog whippersnapper. This is actually my boy's release. Uh, he doesn't hunt, so I kind of borrowed it from him. Uh, hmm, let me kick the tripod, why don't I? Uh, I've just got a little SD card reader that I carry with me. In case if I want to check any well, I guess I'm just going to throw that one on the floor. Uh, that way I can check my trail cameras when I'm out on my private ground. As, as you guys may know, and as most of you may be, I'm not a fan of putting trail cams on public ground. Uh, rattle bag. Everybody knows what a rattle bag is. This one's made by Boat Tech. Uh, I got this off a buddy of mine. Can't tell you where he got it from. A little grunt call. 
man the lighting in here is terrible anyway uh, it's a mad hyper growl just got a snort wheeze feature on it uh, I carry Evercalm this is a great product it's labeled as a deer herd and a stick it comprised out of deer dander you smear it on your boots whenever you walk through it comes off on the vegetation around you it just smells like a deer's walk through there that makes sense uh, lens cleaning wipes I really need to take out of this package because it's loud uh, that way I can clean my binos, my rangefinder you guys <sighs> carry a little bone saw uh, this one's made by Mossy Oak. I think I picked this up at Real King. Just a handy little saw whenever you're, it's time to go through uh, pelvises and rib cages. It makes fairly short work of that. Uh, knives I carry, which these are actually aren't the knives that I usually have in my pack. My uh, my regular knife for this pack. It, it's also a Gerber fixed blade, but it's got a gut hook on it. Gerber makes some fine knives that hold an edge really well. Uh, it's got a smaller profile handle. The scales on it are, are nice and rubbery and get good grip on them. But that's that. Uh, for the time being, I'll also have this old timer. Well, I can't get the light just right so that you guys can actually see it. But carrying an old timer, it's got a little gut hook on it. I prefer to have a gut hook. Not everybody likes them, but I prefer to have them. Uh, nose jammer. It always goes with me. It always gets used. I love this product. It's one that I'll stand behind. It's not anything that anybody pays me to say. But I use it. I believe in it. Uh, my binos. Leopold's. Man, the light in here sucks. Leopold, uh, these are Yosemites. They're 8x30. They're real nice, good glass. Nice and clear. You can see a long ways with them. My range finder is a Halo XL450. It's about $100. It's economical. It works. Uh, as long as I am on private ground, and I can't stress that enough, private ground use only if you're in Illinois because you cannot put anything in the trees. Just a little trifold bow hanger. That way I can mount this camera. It works. Uh, usually got a beanie, saw cab, whatever you want to call them in my pack. Uh, it's, th this pack is big enough that I can put my my hoodie in you know I like to go out in as few layers as what I can and add as I need because well it's just a better thing to do uh, okay let me take you around here we're gonna do this raw and unedited because like I said I want to get out and stand and that's just gonna be easier or I'll be able to get the video uploaded and out so I can get going Okay, uh, my compound. Guys, I don't know if you've seen this. I am shooting a Matthews Traverse. It's a 33 inch axle to axle. I've got it set at 64 pounds. Uh, it's just a good looking bow. Fast Eddie XL double pin sight. Let me see if I can zoom in there. I've had a lot of people ask about how this double pin works. Yeah, so it, it works like a single pin for the most part, but over here, I don't know how well it's actually going to show up. There's two pointers on your yardage indicator. The top pointer works on the top pin. The bottom pointer works for the bottom pin. That's how that works. It, it's not... So that it, it, it's all going to depend on what sight tape you have, your velocity, your arrow mass, all that good stuff. Uh, like I've got sight tape 13 on this bow and I, it's not shooting real fast. I'm shooting heavy arrows. I went with a high FOC build this year. Uh, so I'm shooting heavy arrows, but my top pin is set at 20 yards and my bottom pin is set at 33 yards. 
for whitetail hunting, that's going to cover 95% of your shots. Uh, wick stick stabilizer. I usually have a back bar on, but I took it off because it's not fitting in my case like that. Uh, if you guys really wondering, uh, I've got an SKB, the, the Hunter XL case, real nice case, fits this bow really well. Went with the Matthews Q Light two piece quiver. Hamsky uh, Hunter Hybrid Pro rest for arrows. We got the Easton. East and 6.5 match grades. Uh, this is just a cheap Chinese lighted knock. I've got glory knocks on the way. I've just not received them yet. Uh, boning X vein 1.5. I went with a four fletch in this configuration because it is such a small profile vein. I want to have a little bit more stability and a little bit more steering. Uh, broadhead wise, we have the Grim Reaper Pro Series Whitetail Special. I've shot Grim Reapers for a long time. It's the only mechanical I will ever recommend. There we go. Use my beard as a background. It's just a big nasty head. It makes a big hole. It makes for short blonde trails. It's just it, it, it's a great head. It, it's a head that I stand behind, and the, like I said, the only one, the only mechanical I will ever recommend. It likes to hang out in there. Uh, and some of you guys may know I also like to shoot traditional and hunt traditional. I just don't do it very often. Uh, it was mainly early season this year. Now that the ruts kicked in, I want to make sure that if I'm going to have the opportunity for a shot. I don't want to have to pass on it because it's outside of my my comfort range and that's something most people tend to forget about is if you're not comfortable shooting past a certain distance don't too many things can happen if you're off by an inch at 20 yards you're off by five inches or better at 40 find your effective range find your limit stick with it this bow is a PSE Heritage uh, Raven. It's a great bow. It's uh, 62 inches. It's you know tip to tip. It's uh, 52 pounds at 28 inches, which is what I draw on it. Uh, little draw check clicker. I don't know how well it's going to come through on the camera. It might sound really loud. It may not. I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, these Easton 6.5s, the reason that bow is only shooting 250 foot a second at 64 pounds is those arrows are almost 500 grains. I mean, they're like a half a grain shy on average of the 15 or so of them that I have left. I started out with a dozen and a half. I'm down a few. It happens. Uh, it's kind of been a rough year on my arrows. I've already broken two. I've I don't think I've broke more than one since I, I've started bow hunting and actually been successful at it. But that happens. Uh, traditional arrows, I've got Black Eagle Vintage. Uh, running a 100 grain brass insert. See how well that's actually going to come through with a 150 grain Magnus Stinger. That's double bevel head it's the non serrated version it's a great head they're really sharp of course traditional you're gonna shoot feathers that's a five inch board uh, these are actually the factory feathers um, I do have a few of them that I've refletched want the same color scheme just non barred neon yellow neon green uh, just a, a Damascus leather three finger glove. <clears throat> uh, there's a mountain muffler bowstring on that bow. Any of you guys that shoot traditional or are looking to get into it, and you buy it, you, you want to get started into it, you get on Amazon or you go wherever and you buy a cheap bow and it's got the Dacron string and you pluck it just a little bit 
you know, just, I don't even know if that's picking up. I'm, but if you pluck a dacker on string, it goes bang, and it's super loud, super annoying. I can't ever get those strings to shoot super consistently. Uh, I got a hold of Mountain Muffler bow strings. I'm pretty sure they're on Facebook. I know that you can get find them on Instagram. Uh, go to guy's website. He's a great guy to work with. I've got six or seven of his strings. Uh, I've got several traditional bows. I love shooting traditional archery. And that's something that we're going to see more of come this spring. I don't know if you other guys on Breaking Edge Outdoors know that, but... We're going to play with sticks this spring. Anywho, that's something to look forward to. That's my bag dump for the day. I want to thank everybody that got in on the giveaway. Uh, today's November 10th. It actually ended at midnight today. Well, midnight last night, 12 a.m. today. Uh, we've yet to, at the time of this filming, to pick and determine a winner, but stay tuned for that. Well, probably not stay tuned on YouTube, but keep watching on the Facebook page for that. Uh, and keep an eye on there. Keep an eye on Facebook. Keep an eye on Instagram. Of course, keep an eye on YouTube as we are going to continue doing uh, giveaways. I know we've got, uh, um, well, we've got stuff coming up for uh, the December giveaway in time for Christmas. So keep your eyes peeled on that. Keep up to date and keep posted on on. Well, rather keep up with us as we post. Let me slow down and find my words there. I am only human. But that's going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to get everything put back in my bag, get the bow back in the case. I need to get my shower taken, and I need to hit the woods. Uh, like I just said, it is November 10th. The rut is getting fired up. We've got a storm front moving in. It's supposed to be raining later on this evening. Followed by a cold front, it is supposed to be like 75, let me look real quick, like I said, this is supposed to be quick and it's not turning, it's currently 68 degrees, what is the high for the day, H high is 75 today, a high of 51 tomorrow, so I mean that, that's a significant swing, so if you guys are watching this today, November 10th, and you get the chance to get out tomorrow morning, I do hope that you can. I also hope that when you're out in the woods, you think about our veterans, you thank them whenever you get the chance to, and you thank God for this country. It's one of the greatest countries in this world, on this earth, so far. Uh, anywho, that's going to wrap it up. Be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to hit that subscribe button, most importantly. Also, don't forget to check out Facebook, check out Instagram. We will be posting. Our uploads will be, should be coming more frequently. But that's going to take it all I have for today. So remember to shoot straight, and we'll see you next time.